In this next video, what I'm going to explain is how to post notes and files and links to your own Edmodo group. So in the next step, what I want to do is I want to send a message to my class or to my colleagues. So I'm going to go over here where it says post and I'm going to type in. And I've typed in my message and if I want, I can also attach a file with that, a link or something from my library. And I'm going to get back to that stuff later. I don't want to do that right now. I just want to send a simple message. Now where it says send to, what I can do is I can type in the name of a group, a student, a teacher and whatnot. What I'm going to do is I've created a class called Avi's Testing Class. So I'm going to type in Avi. And as you can see, it gives me a whole bunch of different options. I would like to send it to... Abby's testing class. Good. So now it's sending it to my class. I click on send. And now my message has been posted. Now if someone else has posted a message and you want to reply to it, what you can do is you can click on this little button right over here, which is the reply button. A little weird I'm replying to myself, but you get the point. Anyone who posts a message, your students or you can reply to it. Now if I decide, hey, that was kind of silly, I didn't really want to reply to myself, uh, I'm going to delete this, you'll notice over here you have a little arrow icon. If I click on that arrow icon, I can choose delete reply and ask me, do you want to delete it? I say OK. One thing to note, if you are working with other teachers and they post up messages, you do not have the permission to delete their messages. But if you or your students have posted up a message and you wish to delete it, you can. So the next thing I want to show is how to share a link to a website or link to a YouTube video that you found. It's actually quite easy to do. Just like before, I'm going to create a new post and I'm just going to type in a message. Once I do that, I have to attach the link and that's where these buttons come in. So I don't want to attach a file, that's something from my computer, and I don't want to attach something from a library, that's a different story. I want to attach a link to a website. So what I do is I click on link over here. And next, it's going to ask me what is the address of the YouTube video. Now, in order to make this video short, I didn't show you how I copied and pasted a URL from YouTube. But all I did is I saw a video on YouTube that I liked, I highlighted the address, and I copied it. Then I'm coming over here, I click, I right click, and paste. Next, to get the title of the video, I click right over here. It's called Montreal in Two Minutes. It does it automatically for me. And I click on Attach. Who am I sending it to? Well, I would like to send it to Avi's testing class. I can send it to individual students or individual teachers if I like. And I click on Send. Next, what happens is in my Edmodo feed, you'll see from me to my testing class a neat little video that I want my colleagues or students to watch.